I want to know what are some of your guys' best tips for using BeatStars and how can you really make it your own, um, especially for those who are, who are new to BeatStars? Like, what are some key things you absolutely must do to, one, get traction through your, your page, make sales, um, interacting, things like that? And whoever wants to go can. Um, I think for me, to really make it your own, I, I definitely recommend using a pro page because you can really just spice that up like the exact way you want to. Like even for mine, like I even have like a moving background for my pro page and it, I think it looks sick. But um, also definitely take advantage of like the opportunities tab. There's so there's so much stuff that you can do with the opportunities tab. And there's like um, playlists you can upload out or you can um, put all your stuff in like the playlist opportunity tab and hopefully get your music on like a playlist and then yeah that's my the moving thing the moving background I have, the pro page yeah. I have moving background yet so you know you're the first continue uh, yeah. and then uh, what was I gonna say definitely also because there's also in the opportunities there's literally a place to submit beats for the CEO of BeatStars Abe to like listen to your beats and buy them so yes. I definitely think that's like if you want if you want some exposure then that's definitely something you would want to do yeah man i can't stress enough how important it is that you guys are accessing the opportunities um just because you know we're we have a big team but we still have a small team and i think that the opportunities that go up there's space for everybody to get something we try and and spread out the genres and, and give you the opportunity to be heard and, and test out you know, your strengths and, and all the other things that you work on. So definitely use that. And as far as um, submitting to Abe, like he does buy my beat once a month. I hosted it with him um, this month. So that was a lot of fun. And um, he just has a lot of, a lot of great things to sift through and use that guys. And then as far as this pro page, like yours is so dope because in some ways you're making it interactive. And I see uh, Bufo said, I think it was Bufo said, holy guacamole, that's a lot of licenses. You're giving people options. And I think that's really beautiful because, you know, some people don't need all the extras, but some people do. So um, I'm happy that you have this set up. It really looks great. Uh, no Salas, what about you? What are some of your tips? the number one tip I could give like new producers trying to like get started or build traction is just like consistency. It's so cliche that like everybody will get a chance to like have a beat go viral. And it's so true. You know, like I was grinding at this stuff for like a couple of years until I had that one beat go viral, go viral and essentially like change my life. And I think it's important like for producers to just like keep going, keep uploading beats. If it's not daily, at least weekly or bi-weekly and just like, you know, the more beats you have, the more opportunity you have for people to buy beats and like beats. But um, BeatStars also has like a lot of like analytics in terms of like if you're selling beats, you could see like that boy DJ said, you could see people's emails, you could like message them, you could, you know, see who's buying your beats, where they're from. And like small stuff, like if you look at like 100 sales from customers, I could look at uh, their addresses and see like, where they're coming from and that would probably like you know if most most of my customers are coming from the east east west i may want to upload my beats at a time that kind of suits them more than just like uploading at my my own time if that makes sense mm -hmm. but um yeah just like looking at the analytics and really studying your your craft and your business because it is ultimately a business mm 